Queensland is the number one state in Australia for holidays. It has the Great Barrier Reef, the Daintree Forest, the wet Sundays, Fraser Island, Gold Coast. And the Sunshine Coast, this year named number one most loved destination in the world. Sunshine Coast attracts more than 3 million visitors a year. It is an upmarket area. Affluent tourists and backpackers as well flock to the Sunshine Coast. The Sunshine Coast was named top tourist destination. We're here to explore why. We're planning on seeing a few places. Public transport is not an option, so we've hired a car for around about 100 bucks or so a day. And the weather's looking great and off we go. If you don't want to rent a car, there is a direct bus from Brisbane to Noosa. There is also a train line connecting various towns to Brisbane. We are heading to Noosa, which is the heart of the Sunshine Coast. By the way, people often say Nusa. There is no actual town called Nusa. Nusa Heads is the place people often refer to when they say Nusa. We wanted to visit in Musa, the main beach, which is around the corner, and Hastings Street. Hastings Street is a famous dining street. We chose one of the Hastings Street restaurants called Sales. All the beach restaurants have similar high prices on their menu. This one in particular looked busy, which is a good sign. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can we order it, mate? Is it uh, yep. Yep, sure. Um, can we order the, um, the lamb? The lamb, yes. And the barramundi. Thanks a lot. Thank you. What about cheese? Cheese. Mmm. <laughs> good, good, thank you. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, it's good. Wow, it's magnificent. Nice. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for cheap eats along Hastings Street, there are a number of good places to visit, like Grilled or Betty Burgers. None of the big chain outlets, McDonald's, KFC, Hungry Jacks and Red Rooster aren't along Hastings Street. Noosa has long been a favourite holiday spot for the world's rich and famous. The cost of living here is much higher than other areas of Queensland and the property prices are very high.
making our way to Mulaney Gardens and we're making a few stops along the way. Our first stop is in the Ginger Factory in Yandina. Then we will see the waterfalls near Mapleton. We will make a short stop at Mountville. Our main destination is Birdwell in Mulaney Gardens. The Ginger Factory was founded in 1941. It produces the bulk of the ginger of the world ginger for confection. Before World War II, ginger was mostly brought from China. In the 1950s, the importation was stopped. Today, most of the ginger is grown in this area in Queensland. The ginger factory in Yandina is a very popular tourist place. Ginger Deluxe and Bailey's Ice Cream at the Gingerbread Factory. Mm -hmm. Yummy? Mmm, absolutely. I have gingerbread, it's on top, and uh, Bailey's. We love Bailey's. Beautiful. Fantastic. We had a trip on the historic ginger train. It's a 10 minute ride through the rainforest, landscape gardens and of course the factory. The train is over 100 years old. It was a sugar cane train working at a nearby sugar mill. just passed through Mapleton. We wanted to see the falls which are just outside the town. So this is it? Yeah. It's not there. 2.9 kilometres, oh. there right onto Mapleton Falls Road. The falls are about 21 metres tall. They are probably good after a good rainfall, but the views of the valley are always spectacular. This is Maple Town Falls Lookout. We are driving through Montville now. We are short on time as we need to get to Mulaney Gardens but we will stop on our way back. Mulaney Bird World attracts many tourists. It's a part of Mulaney Gardens. Birdworld is home to over 700 Australian and international birds. According to the Sanctuary staff, all the birds we meet have either been rescued or bred in the sanctuary. There are four huge aviaries and the stars without a doubt are all the different parrots. They are very sociable birds, but if you don't like the parrots to come too close, you are given a feather duster which will stop them from coming near you. <laughs> Hello. We spotted some black cockatoos. They are true Australian icons. 
Some of them are very rare. The macaws rule bird world. They are the biggest and most colourful birds. We don't have them in Australia. They are native to Central and South America. They are an endangered species in the wild. We're going to explore the garden, but look at the beautiful views. It's um, the Glasshouse Mountains. Mulaney Gardens are lovely, but without Bird World, we wouldn't be travelling so far from Noosa. It is a privately owned garden, nearly 18 acres, overlooking glass mountains surrounded by magnificent rainforests. There are a few good lookouts along the way. We stopped at Jared's lookout. From this location, you can see all the Sunshine Coast. It's beautiful. Monville is a lovely town, very small and very picturesque. It's not the first time we have noticed this, but some mountainous towns in the hinterland in Australia look very German. It was very busy here before lunchtime. Lots of cars parked on the street. We came to Monville after 4pm and now it looks very quiet. Nearly everything is closed except for the German clock shop. We are glad it was open because walking into it was a wonderful experience. No visit to the Sunshine Coast is complete without a visit to the Australia Zoo. We will stop to see the once famous Big Pineapple 
and we also want to dine in the pub in Aussie World. The Big Pineapple is a heritage listed tourist attraction and we really wanted to see it. It was built in August of 15th, 1971, um, but unfortunately now it's closed. It's getting renovated and it's been closed since 2010. So it's 16 metres tall. It's made of, uh, it's made of fiberglass. It's very spectacular to see, but uh, very quiet here because it's closed. But, uh, This used to be the most popular tourist destination in Australia. Back in 1983, Prince Charles and Diana came here and were taking on a train trip around the Big Pineapple um, Park. Next to the Big Pineapple is the Treetop Challenge. Well, it looks very interesting. If it wasn't for Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, the Australia Zoo wouldn't be as big as it is now. Steve died in 2006. He was a wildlife warrior. The Australia Zoo was funded by Steve's parents. Australia Zoo is massive. To see the zoo properly, you need the entire day. We didn't see everything, but here is a glimpse of what we did see. Crocosim in Australia Zoo is something we have not seen in any other zoo. It's huge. They have regular shows every day and the shows are spectacular. Oh, 
Aussie World would be interesting to see, but the pub at Aussie World is what we are going to check out today. It was the second Edamoga pub in Australia. It was built in 1989. In case you don't know, the Edamoga is a cartoon pub that was first featured in an Australian magazine in 1959. It is now called the Banana Bender and it underwent extensive renovation. Inside it still has the spirit of the Edamoga pub but with a beach theme. It is very Aussie, we love the atmosphere. There are lots of small towns on the Sunshine Coast. Each town has something beautiful and worth seeing. We love Calandra. It's a bit hilly, but it doesn't have crazy roundabouts like Noosa has. And by the way, property prices are lower compared to Noosa. We loved a couple of places in Calandra and the pastry lab is number one if you have a sweet tooth. Bacon and egg uh, quiche with mushrooms. So I purchased the quiche as well. It's cheese with olive, olive cheese and something else. You got tomato with that top there. Ah, uh, yes, tomato. Good cheese. Calandra has its own street art trail. And this one, this artwork behind me, a happy ball is a centerpiece created by local artists. King's Ocean Beach Pool is a very expensive community project. Millions of dollars were spent on the development of the pool area. But entry is free and you can spend as much time as you want. Noosa has a beautiful boardwalk. Look how the nature is looked after. Noosa is a world famous surf destination. In 2017 it was recognised as a surfing reserve. It's not too crowded there today but usually it gets super crowded. On a big day surfing this place, you can catch it from way out of the point, really all the way into the shore. Really long way. And if you like our video today, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers. We are flying back to Melbourne. 
We really enjoyed our short trip to the Sunshine Coast. It was a bit hectic, we wish we spent more time at the beach. But we loved all the places we visited. Bye bye Sunshine Coast.